Why, hello there, princes and princesses. My name is Princess Snow White, and today I am going to show you how to make your very own paper flower bouquet. I love being out in the wild and smelling flowers and planting them, but sometimes that isn't an option. With everyone being home inside, I thought I would show you how to make your own paper bouquet. This is a lovely, fun, easy craft, and it's very kind to give to someone that you love. Here, I'll start by showing you the, th the ingredients that you'll need to make your craft. You'll need three pieces of printer paper. These look like a rectangle and they're very thin. It's nice if they're colored so your flowers have a bright color. If you don't have any color, simply take some white printer paper and color it yourself using crayons or paint or whatever you've got around the house. You'll also need a large piece of green construction paper. This is a little bit bigger and a little bit thicker in its makeup. Now, if you don't have this kind of paper, again, you can use printer and that will be just fine. You'll need a little bit of aluminum foil. You can ask your mom or dad to get this from your kitchen. You'll need a pair of scissors and some adult help if you can't quite use them on your own. One rubber band, one toilet paper roll, and something heavy that you can use to weight down things. I'm choosing to use clear marbles, but you could use rocks or pennies or any other thing that has a little bit of weight. Now that we have everything together, we'll start by making our first flower. You're going to take one of your pieces of paper and we need to take it from a rectangle into a square. The way to do this is to take a corner of it like this and fold it up across your paper until you have a nice triangle. When you've got that triangle, go ahead and make your crease just like this down the middle. And then you don't need this little rectangle piece. So grab your scissors and an adult help and go ahead and cut off that piece of paper just like that. And now, if you'll look, we took a rectangle and we made it into a square, just like that. Now the next step, you have one nice crease down the middle. You're going to make a crease down the other side. So simply take the end of your triangle, line it up with the other end, and make a nice crisp crease. You can use your fingers, your nails, right down the paper. Now we need to take our big triangle and make it into, two, into another smaller triangle. So you're going to take your pincher finger and your thumb on both sides, hold it right around that crease in the middle, and you're going to push your fingers together, and then turn your paper just like this. I'll do that one more time. You'll take your fingers, and you'll pinch them together as your paper turns just like this. And now you've got another triangle, just a little bit smaller we're going to make another triangle, even smaller this time. You're going to take one of the pointy pieces of paper and fold it up along to the other point. Make it line up and then crease your paper. So we've taken the fold and we've come up. We're gonna do that just like the same on the other side. And now we have one square and one big triangle. So we need to make this triangle look like this square by doing the same thing. Taking your paper and folding it up and taking your paper and folding it up. And now we have four small triangles and one square. So we're going to take our square and you see how there's a crease there and these papers separate? We don't want that right now. So we're going to just fold it together so we have one square that's clear on both sides. And you can fold that down. Now our last step, well, almost last step to making this flower, is to take one of the triangles and you're going to pick the side that has an opening. So if you look up here, this paper is creased, but this is an opening. And you're going to take it and fold it right inside to the middle line. It almost looks like a little ice cream cone. And then you're going to take the other side where you've got that crease and you're going to put it right inside and fold it together just like that. So now you have this paper is helping this paper stay together. And we'll do that right on the same side. Now if I fold it this way, 
I have matching. If I fold it the other way, it wouldn't work as well. So I'm going to fold it together to match the other side. Whoops! And then I will take this and put it inside just like that. And now I fold it together and I squish it and I'm ready to expand my flower. And the way we're doing that is to pull it apart gently and you've created a little hole here and you're just going to give it a slight blow of air into the hole. And if you need a little more, you can wait, take another breath and expand your flower a little more. And the last step, my friends, is to take your four little triangles and to fold them down like the petals of a flower expanding its spring. And so my, when I'm completed, I have what looks almost like a tulip or something fun like that. Now that is the head of the flower. Now most flowers have stems, and that's what we're going to do with our green paper. So you're going to take this long green paper, and you're going to fold it into thirds, because we're making three flowers. They don't have to be exact measurements, but fold the paper into roughly thirds. And you're going to cut out one of those thirds. So if you need some help, you're going to grab your helper and you're going to make one nice long cut here. Then you're going to take this and you're just going to fold it in and make a couple of layers of folds, just like this, almost like you're rolling it you can roll if you prefer to roll. However you want to make this a skinny stem is up to you. I want to see your creativity here. Now I've ripped my paper a little bit and sometimes that happens. It doesn't need to be quite this long so you can just take that and say we don't need this for this part of the stem. I'm going to keep rolling and folding however you wish until you've got what looks kind of like a flower stem. Now it's a little bit tricky because you have a big end here and just a little hole that we're gonna try to stick it through. So what I like to do is take the top and just squish it in a little bit. You can use your thumbs, you can use your strength in your fingers and just make it a little tiny thing. And then you're going to slide it right into the base of your flower, that same place where we blew air earlier. And you'll slide your stem in and it'll look like this, a flower on a stem. And that is how you're going to create your flowers. Now you're going to do three of these. I've already gone ahead and made my other two. But you, would, of course, would make all three on your own. So I have made three flowers. Now I'm going to stick them all in my vase. My vase is where we're going to pull out our toilet paper roll. And we need to make a bottom for it, which is where we're going to use the aluminum foil. So you're going to take a piece of aluminum foil and you're going to cut it into a rectangle that's going to fit across the bottom of your toilet paper roll. Something like this should be enough. This is quite big if you see if I push it up here there's a lot of coverage so I don't need it quite that big so I'm going to cut this right in half. And as you see when I stick this on and I roll it up around the toilet paper roll I've got plenty of coverage and it's going to create the stick on there. Now I want a little bit of extra protection, so I'm going to go two layers of my aluminum foil. So that other square that I cut is going to be a perfect second layer. And you're just going to squish it around there. And then you're going to take our rubber band, and you're going to make sure it is secure. You should just need one. You might, if it's a really big rubber band, you might need to put two times around the aluminum foil but you're just going to make sure that the aluminum foil is staying on because it's going to be a base for your flower pot. Now that this stands, you're going to take your weight. Now remember, I'm using marbles, but you can use rocks or whatever you want. And I'm going to put about five of them in there, just so they hold some weight so this doesn't fall over. And lastly, I'm going to take my three flowers and I'm going to put them in their vase. And just like that, I have created flowers in a flower pot or flower vase that I can pick up and I can give to someone that I love. Perhaps my mom for making me dinner or my dad for reading me a bedtime story. 
Now, if you want to get a little extra creative, you can go ahead and color your vase, you can paint it, you can put some extra paper around it. Maybe the paper that you didn't use for your flower, you could wrap that around there and make it a colorful vase. I'm going to leave that up to you because I know you are so creative. When you're done, you can smile. Now, if I smell them, they don't smell quite as sweet as the real ones, but they do look quite lovely. If you liked this craft, please go ahead and follow our Princess Party Company page to see friends of mine showing you other fun things to do while we're stuck at home. Bye-bye.